Hi, it's Leslie Stalker, and we're back with part two of our three-part videos. This is a little ch child's chair uh, that we showed you yesterday. Um, it's upside down because I wanted to uh, let you know that the best way to paint a chair is always to tip it over and paint the rungs and the inside and the bottom first. Uh, it's very easy to miss those parts if you start at the top. Um, but I've got a first coat on here, and so I'm going to tip it and show you how I'm going to paint the rest of it. So uh, for this chair, I've uh, chosen to use Antibes Green, which I had decanted uh, before I got my paint ease container. So it's in my mason jar, um, which you can see that's why it's not a great idea to put them in that. Um, since I painted the bottom, I'm just going to, this is a new, well not new brush, but clean brush. I'm going to wet my brush a bit and just dip it in the top. I don't have a whole lot of paint left in there. One reason not to paint out of a can or a jar is that you do contaminate the paint. So only do that if you're at the very end of your um, supply. So I'm just brushing this on and we're not going to try to cover it entirely. It's got a, it's very porous. The oak has a strong grain and we're going to just go with that and let that show through. Not quite a stain but more along that line than a uh, solid paint. This seed is Rush, and I'm not going to paint it. I kind of like the contrast um, against the wood. It's got a little bit of a stain there. I might see if I can blend that a bit, um, just so it doesn't stand out. But it's, it's old. It's got a lot of character, and I don't really want to try to get rid of that. When I'm painting something like this, I basically play it by ear. Um, I'll, and I really actually play it by ear on almost everything. I'll put a coat on, see what I think, see if the coverage is not enough. I might go back and add a little bit in areas. Um, I don't worry too much about going with the grain on something like this. You want it to look like uh, the paint's accumulated over years and years. So um, people paint in different styles, and uh, I think that just enhances it. A lot of times when you're getting towards the end of uh, your supply of paint, your can or sample, uh, it's, it's already drying. And so rather than mix water into the paint, I like to just dip my brush, make sure my brush the bristles are moist, and then I'll add the paint to it. If it's too much, I'll brush a little bit off on a paper towel or a plate, just a different surface. We're going to go on to step three, and that will be waxing, distressing, sealing the finish. So uh, be sure to hit the like button and also to subscribe so you'll see it as soon as it comes out, and I'll see you soon.